day, dear sir. Happy to see you again in such fine health. How can I be of service? What do you know about the ruins found to the northwest of here? <laughs> the site that the natives call Didakidnadagase. That is not how we pronounce it, but yes, we are speaking of the same place. <laughs> your language is difficult to master, but I find it fascinating. Uh, to answer your question, I had countless questions about the place when our explorers and scouts first brought back sketches. Intrigued, I went there. I noted the architecture and their decorations. It is certain that they bear a striking resemblance with continental constructions, but they are more ancient. Too old to have been recently built by the Bridge Alliance settlers when they first set foot on the island. I even questioned the natives, but they only spoke of a people of the sea. My first thoughts went to the Noughts, but they're not known for building large towns, less so cities. There are other ruins on a cliff to the east of here. Perhaps they hide the key to this mystery. I hoped to organise an expedition, but the region is dangerous and hard of access. We explored mines at the bottom of the cliff, but we were not able to find an access to the plateau. If the mystery of these ruins intrigues you as much as me, it is in that direction that you should begin to look for answers. Can I help you with any other matter? My lady, I have to go. Goodbye. child, I'm happy that you are here. I've had an idea that I wish to present to you. Please do. I've known the Mother Cardinal for quite some time. She is a formidable woman, gifted and diplomatically skilled. I fear that your cousin might be a little defenseless when dealing with her and would like to give him a few weapons. What do you have in mind? Diplomacy is not only a matter of formal encounters and choreographed etiquette. If we had the means to action more personal leverage, the Mother Cardinal could not manipulate your cousin. How could we ever find anything of that sort? Everyone has nasty little secrets, my child. It's our task to discover Cornelia's. It is a very good idea. But alas, I have other problems to resolve first. I understand. Come and find me when you are ready. I'll see you later, Father. Take care, my child. Look, up there. This is D3, the ruins Lady Morange told us about. But I do not know how to get there. The path collapsed. Some of the tunnels in the mine may lead to it. We should go there. According to Lady Morange's instructions, the ruins should be in this area. The entrance to Kualosani is here. The people of the village might be able to teach us a few things. Good day. What can I do for you? What can you tell me about the ruins on the plateau? You aren't the first to ask me about them, but the answer is still the same. I've nothing to tell you. Not that I wouldn't want to, but I've never been there. There must have been a path once. Some it's certainly possible. The iron ore. Do you need anything else? I'm headed out. Goodbye. Goodbye. Your Excellency, it is an honor.
Good day, Your Excellency. Good grief. These are some unusual customers. Greetings, my lord. It's a real pleasure. How may I help you? Thank you. It was a pleasure. Greetings, my How may I... I imagine that your customers are mostly miners. Yes. For this reason, I mostly sell supplies and tools. But as you can see, I have some other riches. <laughs> I'm sure this village will eventually grow larger. Who knows? Maybe this alley will become more lively. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Beautiful day, don't you think, Your Excellency? Have you ever been to Hickma? Greetings, sire. Well, you are Governor's cousin. I hope that your cousin, our new governor, likes it here. Lady Morong has done a Good day. What can I do? Talk to me about the mines. It wasn't us that first dug them out. They're really old. Centuries old. But those tunnels are full of riches. It takes little effort to unearth the minerals that we want. What more could we ask for? As seeing as how there aren't that many of us, if we were pressed to mine all the tunnels, we'd be too few. But the time will come. When folks hear about what we're pulling from these rocks, we won't be alone for much longer. Hello. You lost? No. Why do you ask? It's just that we rarely get visitors. Well then, what can I do for you? What can you tell me about the ruins that we can see up there? Uh, not a great deal. To my knowledge, no one's ever been able to reach them. There were some officials from the city that came, but when they saw they couldn't easily climb up to the plateau, they just left. There must have been a path that caved in. Unless some sort of tunnel in the mine takes you there. Anything else? What can you tell me about the mine? It's ancient work. The natives must have dug it out a long time ago and then abandoned it. Even if it is strange work for islanders, it looks more like something we would do on a continent. We're trying to restore it. The rock is extremely rich in iron ore. But the tunnels are very old. You need to go slowly. None of us are in a humour to be buried alive. We did explore a few of them, and we're exploiting the closest. But others, nah, they're still inaccessible. Anything else? If I got this right, this hamlet is home to only miners? Yes. It's not been all that long that we've taken up residence here. For the time being, we've only been working a part of the mine because the veins run so deep in the tunnels. Hopefully, more miners will come, and that will attract other craftsmen to our village. We'll see. Anything else? I'll leave you to it, then. Until we meet again.
must be a way to open this gate somehow. Sir, the gate is open. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Yeah! 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 Finally, here we are. These are the ruins that Lady Lorraine spoke to us about. I'll drown myself with the morning tide if these buildings were of native construction. Explore the area. Something may give away the identity of the architects. Bit of poison on my blade. Yeah. And let's go! Yeah.
This journal confirms what we suspected. A continental nation had once attempted to colonize the island with the help of the Nords, and they were repulsed. From what I was able to decipher, few of them actually managed to escape. I should have known as soon as we discovered those ruins that we were not foreign to these lands. Mm. The major part of the journal has faded, and I'm not able to decipher the name of the author. Let's continue our search. We must discover which nation was here.
bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! This seal, I know the insignia, even if it has become more detailed in recent decades. It's hard to believe my eyes. What nation does it belong to? This is the ancient coat of arms of Serene. It's a congregation seal. I think the information is pointing to something clear. No possible doubt remains. All the clues point in the same direction. The people from the sea who built these ruins and confronted the natives they were us. It's difficult to admit. And to think that I turn to you to help us against the Bridge Alliance. I do not judge you guilty of the crimes of your ancestors. But this story is known. I know. This will not help our relations with your people, that is certain. <sighs> and to think we helped you. I'm having trouble dealing with this, even if it does explain a lot. We're gonna have to keep this story under lock and key. The natives are not going to swallow it easily without a long chew. Oh, this must be the reason they kept us in the dark. But Constantine is going to be furious when he learns this.
Cousin! You have returned! How did things go? Oh, you don't look well. What's happened here? Nothing. Nothing terribly bad in any case. I must have eaten something that's having trouble going through me. Seems to me that this illness has been lingering too long. Who prepares your meals? Are they safe? No one is poisoning me, dear cousin. We are far from court and their customs. It's nothing. Take my word for it. Now then, what do you have to tell me? We had a talk with Lady Morange and we explored the ruins that she suggested we visit. All our findings point to one conclusion. Those ruins were originally built by the Congregation of Merchants. The Congregation? Us? But Father never once even hinted. Once again, he must have deemed me unworthy to know the secret. How he must despise me. A Constantine. We need to learn more. I want to understand. I need to know everything my father has kept from me. This question also concerns you. You look too much like a native for that to be a coincidence. Since we cannot bombard my father with questions, others here must give us the answers we require. The congregation, even in the past, could not have made it to this island without help. We are pitiful sailors. You are thinking of us. But I assure you that I know nothing of this story. You are perhaps simply not aware, but your admiral stationed at the captainry surely is. Go and find her, cousin. Try to learn the final chapter of this story. Very well. Anything else? I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. Sarde, what can I do for you? I've explored many ruins on this island, ruins that after careful scrutiny were built by the congregation. In one of them we found a journal that made reference to your guild. This document, as are the buildings, date much further back than the arrival of the Bridge Alliance a decade ago. These discoveries raise a good many questions, questions that my cousin would like you to answer. I understand. All the same, we are in a difficult situation. We are bound by the pact. I could eventually overlook these engagements if you would perform a service. Commander Fernando, who holds the port of San Mateus, has problems with certain members of Teleme. The bishop that accompanies you on occasion could without a doubt tell you more. I won't hesitate to speak to him about it. Solve these problems, and I will reconsider the validity of the pact. I will answer your questions. Anything else? I need to be going. Until we meet...
Have you considered my proposition? It is a very good idea. But alas, I have other problems. I understand. I had a meeting with Admiral Cabral concerning what we found in those ruins. She said she was bound by a pact that kept her from answering questions on the subject. The Nords are nothing more than mercenaries of the oceans. I suppose that she wants something in exchange. Effectively. She told me that her men posted at San Mateus met with some problems, and she advised me to speak to you. Does that make sense? I believe I see what the Admiral is speaking about. Or rather, who? A few of our zealous brothers are overcome by their faith. You already witnessed it for yourself at San Mateus. They look with a wary eye at all those who do not swear faith to Teleme, and refuse to express their faith openly. It is possible they have decided to target the Norts. We will need to speak with those on Teleme lands, and of course, seek out the Bishop Domitius. I'll see you later, Father. Take care. Your Excellency, the Enlightened must have sent you. I would like to ask a favor of you. I'm listening. As you may be aware, we suspected this island might be the one St. Lucius wrote about. Did you? We did, but let me explain. This island was where St. Matthias lived at the end of his life, and where he founded a perfect community. Some time ago, we created a village which we called Eden, following his example. We chose this place as it seemed to be the closest to the one described in the Holy Scriptures. It is a home to a community of converted islanders, accompanied and guided in their budding faith by our theologians. As you can imagine, it is of the utmost importance to us, all the more so because we discovered some tablets there which were engraved by our founder. An extraordinary discovery that confirms your suspicions. I see you understand. Alas, these tablets were stolen, probably by the islanders who still reject our influence. I know that you are generally well accepted by the natives. That is why I was hoping that you could help us to retrieve what belongs to us. I suppose I could go to Eden and try and retrieve them. Marvelous. The leader of the community, Father Eustinius, will be able to answer your questions. May the Enlightened assist you in this holy quest, Your Excellency. What do you want from me, my son? 
Sir de Sardé, emissary of the congregation. Ah. The congregation still has the uncanny gift of surprising us. I am Bishop Domitius. I represent the Ordo Luminous on the island. What can I do for you? I believe you have a few problems with the Norts who reside in the port. We have problems with all matter of heretics, my son. And of course the pagan Norts would be among them. They are very secretive and have all sorts of strange rituals that they keep to themselves under cloak of mystery. The sorcery they employ to guide their ships is drawn from nature, just like the sorcery used by the natives. And to top it all off, and this is where it stings, we suspect them to be at the origin of the Malachor. Whatever do you mean? How? Have you ever once crossed paths with a nought suffering from the blood plague? Why are they spared? The only logical reason is that they are at its origin, calling upon various cursed rituals. It's as simple as day. I am certain that we will find clues of their rituals and their pagan idols in their stockhouses in the port. What a nest of absurdities. What other reaction would you expect from those responsible for the curse that afflicts us? Uh, very well. Let's just agree that these rumors need to be verified. Anything else? Hello, sir. You are from the congregation, are you not? Indeed. De Sarde. Your admiral has sent me here. Pleasure. You may call me Fernando. I am the port commander here. What might I do for you? Your admiral informed me that you've been having problems with a few citizens of Teleme. What more can you tell me? Problems, huh? We're up to our necks and sinking with problems. Yeah, I even received threats to my own person. One of those high and mighty long robes dared walk upon my docks with talk of burning me at the stake. Burning me? Then two of my men up and disappeared. And I do not believe in coincidence. I wanted to ask for help from the Mother Cardinal, but she did not answer my requests for an audience. The games of politics are not my forte, and investigations even less so. Find my men. I implore you. More questions? I met the representative of the Ordo Luminous, and he spoke of his fears concerning the Norts. That hardly surprises me. That man is full of pride and arrogance, and sees evil wherever he gazes. And that bishop is not made of milk and kindness, but his questions are intriguing. He suspects you to be somehow responsible for the Malachor because you never fall prey to it. Responsible for the Malachor? <laughs> and how? Through your magic. Some sort of ritual. Do you use a magic very similar to that of the natives? I have nothing more to say about it. Those are merely the fantasies of a lunatic. More questions? Thanks. I've got everything I need. 
The commander will probably not tell us anything more about the Nort's secrets, but the documents at the Harbor Master's office may teach us something new, if we can stay discreet. Poison on my blade. Then let's go! Let's see if you can ward off this fight. This note speaks of a secret hangar. We should investigate, even though it's sure to be well guarded. That way, we'll know exactly what the Norts are hiding from us. I can assure you, we're not hiding anything reprehensible. But if you absolutely want to check it out for yourself... A bit of poison on my blade! And let's go! It's blocked.
bit of poison on my blade. Let's go! May the Enlightened bless you. Good day. I'm looking for several sailors, some noughts that disappeared a few days ago. Sorry, that doesn't ring any bells. But I did hear talk like everyone else on the port, but that's all. You should ask the mage inquisitors who have taken up lodgings here of late. They must have certainly seen something. We see them everywhere, and they spend their time spying on all that moves, especially eyeing all that the noughts are up to. Ah, and what do these mage inquisitors look like? They wear a very peculiar symbol. We cannot question all the inquisitors roaming around the island. Especially considering what we've learned from Demetrius. They must be doing everything in their power to discover the Nort's secrets. Have you had the opportunity to meet the Cardinal Mother? She is a woman of infinite wisdom and strength. May the Enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Have a nice day, sir.
I've already seen this type of engine in my uncle's court. It's used to spy upon the stars. These objects are called sextants. Looking at the heavens through them, we can determine and track precisely the course of our ships. Mm, nothing magic nor impure therein. They're nothing but measuring instruments. These machines are extremely complex. I've never seen anything like this. Oh. This one looks like it has a shouting dolphin etched into its side. I wouldn't begin to know how this one works. It's a new model, invented recently. It's designed to measure the depths of the oceans. It's extremely useful. And that? It looks like a thermometer. And this other machine? Does it really predict the weather? The second instrument is a barometer, and it does indeed predict where the weather is going to be. Nothing magic in it either, I can tell you that. These instruments are incredible, and I would be hard-pressed to use them. But I certainly see nothing magic in here. Nor anything diabolical. For as long as they work and are really used, these instruments seem to be the product of science. And I've definitely found nothing related to the Malachor, nor a secret sect or cult. This Domitius has let his imagination and the taste of naught secrets get the best of him. I don't think you realize the importance of what you have just seen. These instruments allow us to dominate the oceans and discover new worlds. Keeping this secret has enabled us to remain the only ones capable of navigating the high seas. Everyone just thinks you use a magic of your own. We were the ones that spread that rumor. It harms our reputation, but protects us from competition. And this story about the Malachor? I have no way to explain why we don't catch it, but we're not responsible for it. I truly hope you'll reveal nothing of what you've discovered in this place. The Ordo Luminous was completely wrong. We must find these missing noughts. Good day. I'm looking for two men, noughts, that went missing a few days ago. Do you know anything about them? Why? As a matter of fact, I do. Three or four days ago, I was at the tavern having a conversation with a sailor, a nice fellow. He was telling these stories. He was drinking hard. He went outside for a moment to... you can imagine. And well, he never came back. He wasn't that drunk to have passed out. If it were that, we would have found him. No. Something happened to him. That's a fact. But I would be at a loss to tell you what. If one of the sailors disappeared as he came out of the tavern, that is where we should go. If we find Inquisitors there, they'll certainly know more than the ones we see here.
We're approaching the tavern. If we want to eavesdrop on conversations, we should be discreet. You again. Why am I not surprised to see you implicated in this story of surveillance? I have no idea what you're talking about. A witness told me that you and others of your order seem to be spying on all comings and goings in the port. Two noughts were captured not long ago. You had to have seen something. You are mistaken, my son. You've been misinformed. Your attitude already says a great deal. If you know something, then speak up! You have no idea to whom you are speaking. I will not allow myself to be threatened without consequence. Bit of poison on my brain. Let's go! He's not exactly courageous. Let's search these men. They may have some interesting documents. So they're keeping the noughts in the prisons of the coin. Entering this place will not be an easy feat. Feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen, and it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. You won't be disappointed. As Come on. Halt! You have no authority to go any further. And if I gave you this, so that you might go and have a little fun? 
In that case, I could certainly look the other way for a while, but be discreet. Thank you. Thank you for getting us out of there. Those Inquisitors are completely mad. They tortured us. They wanted us to admit to all manner of horrors. Stories of some demonic cult and curses of Malachor. I was of the firm belief that they were going to kill us. But you must make haste. They are planning some sort of wickedness. They spoke of a great purification. And after that, they did this to us. It doesn't bode well. Not at all. I heard them talking about their headquarters near the palace. Maybe you'll learn something there of interest. Thank you again for freeing us. We'll be able to make it back to port on our own. We need to discover what is behind this talk of purification before they can execute their plan. Taking into consideration what we learned in the warehouse, it will not be difficult to convince the Mother Cardinal to intervene. <laughs>
bit of poison on my blade. Let's see if you can ward off this fight. We must meet with the Mother Cardinal urgently. Only she can put an end to this madness. Your Eminence, I salute you. Sir de Sardé, what can I do for you? I must leave you. Naturally, Your Ex... Yes? I would like to have an audience with the Mother Cardinal to discuss the discoveries made during our investigation. What is this about, Domitius? Well, I don't rightly know. You see, Eminence, Bishop Domitius has brought to my ears his order's accusations concerning the Norks. According to him, they practice a religion close to those of the natives and use a nature-drawn magic. They would also be implicated, therefore, in the appearance of the Malachor. That is an extremely serious accusation. Effectively, considering the accusation is founded on no proof other than the Norks' tradition of secrecy, but these suspicions have pushed the order to extreme actions, risking the fragile peace of the island. The Ordo Luminous captured several noughts, locked them in jails rented to them by the coin guard. They were tortured with the singular goal of forcing them to admit heresy. They obtained nothing. If I had not intervened, these men would be dead. Is this true, Domitius? Some of our brothers undoubtedly misinterpreted the evil. I would have never allowed such a plan. These noughts are now united with their captain, and I am certain they would be most eager to bear testimony. I caught wind of a ridiculous scheme planned for the port by the Ordo Luminous, and I wanted to clear it up. I was able to get my hand on documents that effectively detailed an attack, a great purification. They were signed by you, Father, and included a contract where you enlisted the assistance of the coin guard to attack every naught building and make prisoner of every one of their men that could be taken alive. Domitius, how could you? Whatever did you want to accomplish? 
The Noughts are not believers. We should not be dependent on heretics. Have you gone completely mad, Domitius? We are on an island. How could we not be dependent on the Noughts? I want them arrested. Him and every member of his order. I will decide at a later time their fate. I thank you for bringing this business to my attention. Going after the Noughts. What madness. Without you, this city would now be drowning in chaos. Carry my best wishes to your cousin. His desire to maintain the peace on the island honors his house's reputation. I will tell him, Your Eminence, until we meet again. Desarde, what can I do for you? I've settled the problem in San Mateus. Several of your men were imprisoned by the Ordo Luminous. The misguided brothers planned to attack the port. I had them arrested. They should no longer be a threat to you. The Order thought you to be heretics because of your tradition of secrecy. The secrets? They often cut both ways. Therefore, I'm going to reveal to you another. We discovered this island nearly two centuries ago. A few decades later, we sold the discovery to your nation of merchants. Then, our closest allies. We transported some lords, men, and merchandise. They began to colonize the island. The lords revealed themselves to possess a tyrannical nature and began to exploit the lands with a deadly passion. Their actions provoked a revolt of the natives, but also the very workers and craftsmen they had brought with them. The magic of the natives of Tirfredi was awoken. Beasts came out of the woods and destroyed the new cities. Only a handful of lords and armed men were able to make it back to our ships. The losses were enormous. The humiliation, devastating. Your princes paid us well to keep their secret. They continued to make the occasional expedition. You are, in fact, a product of one of them. What are you saying? You must have had your doubts. You are the child of a native. You were born on one of our ships. The child of an islander? But I know who my mother is, and... I understand how difficult this is to hear, and I wouldn't know why your family has kept this from you all this time. In the end, we decided to sell the secret location of the island to other nations. The congregation, in spite of its fears, could not keep away. And here you are again. I am sorry for the shock I have caused you. You asked me for the truth, and now you have it. Anything else? 
I need to be going. Until we meet again, Admiral. I can't believe it. That for all this time, I've been fed lies. Did Constantine know? I must... I must go and see him. I understand you may be sad because you were lied to. But do not be sad about who you are. We are a proud people. And I am glad to know that you are one of us. Cousin, you couldn't pick a better time. I've been taken with jitters like a cat on a midday roof. <laughs> what are you waiting for with such anticipation? I took your advice, you see. I've summoned one of these crows! He has been examining me for nearly an hour. I just barely escaped a purge. But I was given the mandatory bleeding. I so hate their little knives. And so then, our venerable doctor, what is the verdict? Black. <sighs> Constantine, is this your blood? Constantine, answer me. Constantine, stay with me. Constantine, there is a chance that he is in error. It might be something else. I'm going to die. No, no, Constantine. I will die, like your mother and the others on the continent. I I'm dying. I don't want to die. I don't. No, no, not so soon. It's so good. Cousin, I... I don't... Constantine, I'm here. Pull yourself together. Out. Everyone out. It's in order. Thank you. Cousin, there now. Are you better? I don't know. You won't leave me, will you? I'm going to find a cure, I promise you. Didn't you promise the same thing to your mother? You know I'll be dead before you find one. Don't say that. I will succeed. I've already some promising trails to explore. I don't know, cousin. The tidings are so awfully dire. I'm afraid. I'm so afraid. I doubt the reason for your visit was to console me in my tragedy. Tell me, what brings you here? It can wait. It's nothing that can't be dealt with later. But please, please, whatever it is, it will take my mind elsewhere. I was able to get the whole story out of the Admiral in exchange for a service. As our investigation was leading us to imagine, the congregation did once attempt to colonize the island. The Norse discovered it some two centuries ago and brought our people here a few decades later. But the enterprise to colonize the island failed completely. There were a great many bloody battles. Few colonists survived. The princes preferred to hide their defeat and paid the noughts to keep the secret. That they hid the fiasco from the world, I get. But that my father said nothing about it to me. That's not the most shocking part of the story, believe me. What do you mean? The congregation continued to make expeditions to the island with the help of the noughts. According to the Admiral, my mother came from the island and was brought back. I was born on one of their ships. What? But... That means you are not your dear cousin? No. All the lies we've been fed since our tender childhood. The fable told that I'm the spitting image of my dead father lost during an expedition. God, I, I don't know what to think, Constantine. Why did they do that to me? I don't know. It's another one of their sly and dark orchestrations. Some vile intrigue. If it is of some comfort, 
No matter the true story, you will always be my dear cousin. You have always been the only one to care for me. You are my only friend. That's all that matters to me. Keep this discovery between us. No one needs to know. My aunt adopted you after all. Bring in the others. Let us speak of different concerns. That's enough bad news for one day. Kurt, what is... What's going on? Is there something wrong? Coin guards! The time has come. But... What is this? Ready arms. Kurt, what are you doing? Aim! Stop that, soldiers! Lower your weapons, now! Sorry, Greenblood. Fight with honor. On guard. A central! Why did you betray us? Our commander figured out that we could easily take control of this island. You rely so heavily on our protection. You are so dependent. <laughs> so naive. All the governors will suffer the same attacks if they haven't already. Your problems are far from over, Greenblood. The commander is there on the docks with all his lieutenants. I failed, but they will certainly succeed. Here, or elsewhere on the island. <laughs> Not every governor has a cousin that I train personally for combat. It's over. You are defeated. <laughs> <laughs> You have no honor. I agree with you. But I did train you well. At least there's that. The student surpasses the master and you cannot bear it. You are wrong. I am proud of you. Truly. Thank you. You saved us all. The nerve of them. What else was there to expect from employing coin-fed mercenaries? All that liberty, so close to power, it went to their heads. It would have happened sooner or later. They could have been preparing this sort of coup for years. Without wanting to rush you, Bantering about the dangers of according one's trust to a sellsword is appropriate, but... You're right. It's time for action. We need to get you somewhere safe, Constantine. Those are my advisors that you must protect. Me? I want to... To join in. Look at your condition. It's out of the question. We are taking you somewhere safe. As you've left me, no choice. There is a hiding place in the cellar. We will take care of your advisors after that. And we should make these conga eels pay for their treachery. And attempt to stop the coups in other cities. Then we have no time to lose. Let us be gone.
These traitors will not be shaken by Kurt's death for very long. They are most likely gathering as we speak to prevent us from accessing the cellar. Stay behind us, Constantine. You're in no condition to fight. We must hurry before the guard can act. 